the very interesting thing about working together with one camera is you is you realize for yourself how little you see um, because you're with someone who's noticing other things if you're on your own with a camera you have a kind of godlike fantasy that you're seeing everything because you're on your own nobody's bothering you you've got your camera but if you think about it if there's two of you you're noticing more you must be noticing more than one person but because we made a decision to only have one camera yeah you get this sort of excitement about uh, are we looking in the right direction where are things going on what's happening um, but, but I, I would say in principle that you know, two, two sets of eyes are kind of better for certain kinds of ways of making pictures, I think. I learned so much doing this project, and I think he'd say the same thing. Um, and that's part of the toing and throwing and thinking about what you like, and therefore you'd think, and then you'd go back and shoot more, then you'd think, and would say, OK, next week we really need to go and concentrate on getting some interiors of something, or we really need to get some longer shots, some bigger shots for the whole edit. And that was really a great experience for me, I think. The bulk of the pictures came out of a, uh, just a way of shooting that we developed together, um, quite intuitively, and no real idea anymore who actually shot them. But if you're thinking very, very like each other after a while, um, you're no longer shooting your own thing, you're, you're, you're shooting in a way that you've developed for that project. For a start it was really great to go and cycle together and to go and explore together and to talk about pictures that we wanted to take together. And then the actual physicality of taking the picture was nothing, you know, it was, it was more the whole project doing that together was a thing. And then whoever was holding the camera would take the picture. So the actual taking of the picture was, you know, didn't really matter who it was, it was more doing the whole project together that that was about being together. And then by the time we came to take the picture, it was just, just a pressing of the button. Every picture had something of the sentiment of the other person in it when we were shooting. And there would be the kind of photographs that maybe I'd be more inclined to take. There'd be the kind of photographs that Polly would be more inclined to take. Uh, I can't even remember some of the pictures who took them. Um, some I can definitely remember who took um, but yeah, and so some we did together, very much together, you know, we'd, some we'd set the thing up a little bit and think for a, a long time about how we'd frame it, and some were much quicker pictures that we saw and so then took, um, and sometimes we'd fight about who could hold the camera a little bit, <laughs> not too much. But films happen like that. Um, it's, very, it's very common for, you know, the final look or feel of a film to, to come out of the meetings of different creative minds and none of them would have got there on their own. It's the only, it's the only project that I've shot with somebody and I think the same for him. We have actually shot again together, but we've shot on different cameras and we've shot separate projects. I think our styles have gone much further apart now and he's shot his own style and I shot my own thing um, and that's been really good.